Mae afon sy'n groiw a gloiw a glân, a bal mae'n adfwynder a chender i chân. Pob corbwll fel drych i ddant cangau'r coed cnau, pob rhyd fel pylydrau mewn gwydrau yn gwai. A'i thonnau gan lami yn canu yn un côr, y mai aberteifi ger myri y môr. Just off the far west coast of Wales, in the great curve of Cardigan Bay, is the small rocky mound of tiny Cardigan Island, which marks the entry of the Avon Tavy into the Irish Sea. At 75 miles long, the River Tavy is the longest river which flows entirely within Wales. At the mouth of the estuary of this beautiful river is the expansive beach known as Poppet Sands, a favourite place for kite flyers and windsurfers. The first settlement we reach is the small and ancient village of Llandidoch, St Dogmills, with the superb ruins of a 12th century abbey and a fully working water-powered flour mill dating back to at least the 17th century. The old trading port of Cardigan is steeped in history. According to tradition, it's the site of the first Eisteddfod in 1176, held within the castle grounds, under the auspices of the Lord Rhys. Being on a navigable river, Abertavy was a vital trading port from medieval times, and later became a major departure point for emigrants to America. Tidal mudflats and reed beds just north of Cardigan are known as the Tyvee Marshes Nature Reserve and the Kilgeron Wildlife Centre is here. The river narrows as it passes through the deep rock formations of Kilgeron Gorge, with its romantically dramatic 13th century castle ruins high above the water. The gorge was also mined for slate, some of which was used for billiard tables which were exported worldwide. 